In this video, you're going to be taking a look at Obi-Wan Kenobi for the Clone Wars animated line based upon his appearance from the Clone Wars movie and also Season 1 and Season 2. Figure it's about time I get some more Clone Wars animated action figures featured on the channel. I do have several I still need to review. Uh, last time I did a count, I think I have somewhere between 35 and 40 more to go. Uh, so hopefully we can knock out as many of those as we can here soon. And I figure... Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi needs to be featured on the channel. I was looking back at all the reviews I have already done for the animated line. And I thought, you know, it's about time Obi-Wan finally gets featured. Uh, it's a great action figure. Uh, so this is not the uh, single card release of him that was released in 2008. This is actually the DVD commemorative uh, three-pack version of him. And uh, two other action figures uh, featured with him were General Grievous and the uh, standard B1 battle droid. I do not have those two action figures anymore. The reason being is the General Grievous, I could just not get that action figure to stand at all. So what I ended up doing is, I think it was around 2016 or 17, I went ahead and sold him in the B1 battle droid. I'll talk about the battle droid here in a minute. Uh, and then I ended up getting the battle damage uh, single card release of General Grievous from the Lara Grievous episode, and I still have that action figure to this day, uh, about six, seven years later, which is a fantastic General Grievous. I have a hard time getting that one to stand as well, but it's definitely a whole lot better than the commemorative one that was released with this. And the B1 Bow Droid is the same scenario with him. I just could not get that droid to stand at all. Uh, the only way I could really get him to stand in any way, even on a stand, is if he's basically leaning over at 90 degrees almost, or uh, really close to it. So I thought, there's no point in really holding on to this. To be honest, looking at it uh, several years later, I wish I still had those two, because now I feel like I don't have the complete set. Uh, but I have looked at prices on eBay, and it is uh, kind of pricey, pricey for the three-pack, but perhaps I'll track one down again at some point. Uh, but all three action figures are just straight repacks of their single car release. Grievous had his own single release, the Battle Droid did as well, and then Obi-Wan, and they were part of the initial wave for the Clone Wars animated line. Uh, so the action figure of Obi-Wan you're looking at here is just basically the same exact thing as that single release. I don't think there's any differences at all in the paint apps. They were all released around the same time. Uh, but that three pack I ended up getting for Christmas in 2008, and I think at the time that pack was only maybe... 12 13 14 15 dollars it was in that range so not bad at all and last time i checked on ebay uh, the few listings you can find of it it's usually like in the 70 or 80 dollar range it's a little pricey and ridiculous so uh it would probably be better to just go ahead and get the single card releases of each one of them might be the more affordable option uh but before i dive even further into the action figure Unfortunately, as just as I was about hit, to hit the record button, I moved the stand on Obi-Wan a little bit, and the peg totally broke off, and it's wedged there in his foot. I do have that happen every now and then with some of these stands where the peg, uh, he's probably been on this stand for I don't know, maybe seven, eight years now at this point, and I haven't really moved it, so over time it does get brittle. So that is one thing, if you are utilizing these stands, uh, I suppose you're going to have to move it every now and then just so it doesn't potentially freeze in the place there, and then it breaks off like uh, it just did for me with Obi-Wan. It's really unfortunate, uh, at least the other hole in his foot is available still, so I can do a new stand for him. Uh, I can even do this one. Yeah, it does work like that. Well, that's really unfortunate when that happens. This is probably the maybe third or fourth action figure I've had that happen to now. Uh, but that is what it is. It's something you really can't avoid sometimes. Anyways, let's just take a closer look at them here. So I personally really like this interpretation of Obi-Wan in the Clone Wars series. 
as we see his evolution throughout the seasons, uh, the armor that he wears gets less and less. Uh, his season three appearance, which I do have that action figure as well, he's basically only wearing the forearm ar armor here, and the rest of us just as uh, standard Jedi robes. While here, he's pretty much fully armored up. And he has the robes on top, very reminiscent to the Tartakovsky Clone War series. Head sculpt is very nice. Looks spot on to the on-screen character. And I believe he's voiced by was a James Arnold Taylor. I have seen him in person before. Um, but I did not meet him. Perhaps someday. A lot of nice detailing in him. Uh, it's not a whole lot to really say about it. It's mostly just tans and whites. Uh, but they did dirty his armor up, which is nice. That's something Hasbro was doing with a lot of the Clone Wars action figures back in 2008. Uh, even the Phase 1 clones, a lot of them were dirtied up. It does have uh, the symbol of the Jedi on his shoulder there. Just playing on this one. Robes look good. You can tell they have some weathering on them. Some pouches here. Some armor on his legs. In terms of his articulation, he does have a ball joint the head. And hinge shoulders, elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist, and swivel hips, and no knee or ankle articulation. A lot of the Jedi in 2008, uh, between like Anakin, Obi Wan here, and there may have been a few others. I'm trying to think. Uh, General Grievous was this way as well. They seem to uh, neglect on the leg articulation. I think it would have been nice for them to have knees, but I do think. Uh, there was a Geonosis 3-pack release and it included uh, basically this exact Obi-Wan, except he was uh, dirtied up to look like he was on Geonosis, and I think they may have redone the legs on that. This action figure did see a share of releases or retools during the Clone Wars line. In terms of weapons and accessories, this is... Uh, Signature lightsaber, which I still have with the elastic bands in hand there. Uh, they do look like they're not going to be lasting a whole lot longer. I'll well, leave those there for now. It does have the jetpack here, which I always have on him. He does have a firing projectile here. It stays in place pretty good. You just have the lip there. Keeping it in place. And it is loose on his back, but it stays in the place pretty good. I've never had any problems with it. I think he looks pretty good with that. Then you have his final accessory, which is the Clone Trooper helmet, which is basically a Commander Cody helmet. Has the antenna here, and then the uh, visor. Uh, has that Jedi symbol on the side of the head there, on the dome. And it's a swappable head, instead of a removable helmet. I have to admit, I've always kind of had a hard time trying to get that helmet on the peg here. Let's see if I can actually do that. Yeah, that's about the best I can do. It's always been a very tight fit, and rarely have I ever had the helmet on him there. That might not be fully on, but I don't want to risk uh, breaking anything more today. But just to give me an idea. Personally, I don't think it looks right anyway, and even if it's not uh, fully in the place, he doesn't have the, uh, or it's just totally flesh color for his neck and 
I think it just doesn't look right with the helmet on. Need that layer of clothing around his neck there to make it look right. Yeah, that probably wasn't on all the way. Does have the cut on the side of his uh, skirt here, basically, allow for a little bit of extra flexibility. But that's pretty much all I can tell you about Obi Wan here. We'll do a couple comparisons here. Here he is with Anakin. I did review on the channel a little while ago. I recommend checking that out. And just to kind of get a sneak preview of who's next. Here he is with Master Yoda. They all look really good together. So would I recommend this Obi-Wan for your collection? I would if you're a big fan of the Clone Wars animated line. Uh, Big fan of Obi-Wan in his movies or season one, season two appearance. This is definitely the action figure for you. Uh, again, the com commemorative three pack is very expensive. So I would probably recommend just tracking down the single release if you really want one. And then, uh, of course, if you want the General Grievous or the Battle Droid, I would recommend the single releases of them. Perhaps I'll track down those two at some point, or maybe I'll just buy an all-new pack. Especially now that technically I have a little bit of a broken Obi-Wan here. It's really unfortunate. But we'll see what the future holds. I would still like to collect several of the Clone Wars animated line action figures. It's one of my personal favorite Hasbro Star Wars lines. There are still several that I'm missing that I would like to add to my collection at some point. Overall, it's a great Obi-Wan. Happy he's part of my collection. He's been with me for 16 years now at this point. But anyways, that concludes this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for plenty more reviews in the future. There will always be more to come. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I always appreciate all your support. And check out some of the links in the description if you haven't done so already. Of course, as always, thanks for watching.